Hi everyone and welcome to Laura Talks MS. As always, I hope you're all keeping well. Today in this video, I want to talk about ways in which I managed my relapses, especially with problems that I was going through with my hands. And I know that these may not be um, something for everybody, but there are some techniques that I've picked up along the way due to recent problems with my hands, which I believe might actually benefit everybody. And it's a technique called nerve flossing. And I'll go on to talk about that a little bit later on. But um, I'm gonna kind of backtrack to 2008 when I had my relapses. And the onset of my relapses started in 2008. And then they pretty much just kind of continued and continued and continued. And it felt like I was having relapse after relapse. It didn't seem to matter what relapses I was having, my hands were always affected. And the fourth relapse that I had uh, was really, really severe in terms of affecting my hands. It affected all of my body, but it really affected my hands so badly that I couldn't, you know, use them. They couldn't function at all. So I wasn't able to really do anything for myself at that point in time, like brush my hair, pick up knives and forks, um, clothe myself, dress myself. Really, I was struggling to go to the toilet. And so I went back to my mum and dad's for a period of time to get some rehabilitation. And during that time, um, my mum helped me a lot. And I just wanna share some of these techniques that I did and some of the things that my mum helped me with because I really feel like those things helped my arm and it made the road to recovery a lot better and a lot easier and a lot more comfortable for me. So the first thing that I wanna start off with is that I know it seems really, really simple but it's literally a stress ball. Um, you can get these online, uh, you can get them in sponge form, you can get them, and this is, oh, <laughs> dropped it, you can get it. This is more kind of like a jelly-like one, and actually they come in a pack of three, and that's kind of beginner level, and then intermediate, and then advanced. And I think what you have to remember with MS is that there's nothing wrong with this hand. Everything that you're feeling is actually due to the lesions which are in your spine or your brain. And using this helps you get back the kind of cognitive function and the memory of remembering how to do things. And at first it's, you know, for me when I was doing it, it was really a strange feeling and I couldn't squeeze it. And I had no, um, I had no strength in my arm at all. But my mum kept saying, keep using it, keep using it. And, you know, eventually it will come right. And mum's no best. So thank you, mum, because it did come right. So the other thing that my mum would do for me uh, is she would massage my arm and it would be every single night, she religiously massage my arm. And then we looked into something um, which was a little bit more kind of advanced. And I think it also probably saved her hands as well. But this is just a massage wand, but it's got an infrared light here. And basically infrared gets right down into the tissue and it radiates heat as well. And infrared basically, as I said, gets down into tissue and it's really um, well known for helping inflammation. So if there is any inflammation in the tissue there, it is supposed to help that and help with the regeneration of cells. The massage felt fantastic and there's nothing better than touch and manipulation and getting the blood flow back into the hand if there is, you know, an issue where you've just left it and you're not using it. So it's a really good thing, massage. So they were the two main things that I was doing um, before I kind of had further problems with my hand, recent problems. Then I've learned to do different things since I've seen like um, chiropractors and physiotherapists. 
And one of the things that the chiropractor uh, introduced me to were these bands. And they're similar um, to the balls where there's different levels. So you have level one, level two, level three, and you basically use these to build up the strength in your hand. Um, and I can do it that side, but I can't do it with my left hand because we have a problem with my left hand. And I do use them, but I try to use them as much as I can and still build up the um, strength in that wrist. My sister gave me these and they're great. So obviously again, another building up tool. Um, as you can see, I have no problem doing it with this hand, um, but I cannot, I can't do it with that hand at all. There's just no strength, no, uh, it's just, there's just weakness in that hand. Um, basically the update with this hand is that it's almost been a year now since it started and I received a letter from the hospital the other day um, which kind of indicates that they think it is a relapse but there's no actual evidence on the MRI but taking into consideration that I've had all the other um, exams and everything then it probably does suggest that that is what it is so um, I hope that that's kind of been a bit helpful. I know it's not a, you know, a huge amount of um, exciting stuff to tell you, but these are the things that helped me through my relapse with my hand. And it looks small and simple things, but they really do help build up that strength and build up that muscle mass, especially when you're not using your hand. And as I said, it's not your hand, it's your brain. And function as well so you have to keep the cognitive thing going um, but if there's anybody who wants to ask me any questions about my hand because I think I'm definitely um, an expert on hand relapses um, just drop me a question or drop me any comments below and um, I'm also going to now pop down some stuff with the nerve floss in so that you can see what I'm doing Hi everyone, I'm back in a slightly different position, but that's because I want you to be able to see my arm movements when I'm showing you the nerve flossing techniques. And basically the nerve, the nerve flossing gently mobilizes compressed or irritated nerves. And um, it also increases range of motion, it reduces damage to the nerve, and it can relieve any pain that you may have as well. I'm going to be showing you some arm movement techniques which I learned from my physiotherapist but there are loads and loads and loads that you can go on to and look at for leg movements, um, any pain that helps with like hip pain, leg pain, there are so many and this has helped me with my pain threshold to honestly bring it down from about sort of 50% of where it was and I can manage things a lot better now and it's really so beneficial for me I just wanted to share it with you and obviously you can try it and see what you think so the first um, technique is really really simple it's just stretching your arm out um, wide like that and then what you want to do is you want to tilt your head hand down and bring your head along with the hand that's pointed down and when you bring your palm upwards and you stretch it up you want to tilt your head to the other side as far as you can possibly do it as comfortable as it feels for you and you can breathe in and use breathing techniques as well and you just do the same again and um, my physio told me to do this around about 10 times. So for me at the moment, I'm doing it 10 times in the morning and I'm doing it 10 times at night in the evening. That's obvious, isn't it? Evening is night. <laughs> um, I won't do all those 10. I just wanted to show you what it looks like. And then the second one, I might need to just come up a second so you can see. So you literally want to hold your hand like you're opening a jar and you want to twist it away from you. And while you're twisting it away, you want to lean your head 
to that side and you'll feel, you'll actually feel the pull, but it's not an uncomfortable pull. It's like, it's just a nice relief actually. Um, and then you just bring it back up again and you just twist it and you bring your head back over again. And it's just basically mobilizing the nerves. And this is what I was taught in my physiotherapy sessions. And they're brilliant there. So what I'll do is I will post the links online um, to some of the um, sites that I've seen where they do the leg and the arms. But also there's a lady that I found that does um, yoga techniques. She's called Echo Flow Yoga. She's on YouTube and she actually does one um, session of um, this nerve compression yoga. I'm so sorry, it started raining. I'm gonna end it now, but I hope this has helped you and uh, take care of everybody and I'll see you soon.